Today we're going to learn about faux calligraphy or fake calligraphy. So faux calligraphy is really useful if you're a beginner and you want to learn how to do calligraphy or make your lettering look um, like calligraphy but you don't have the supplies yet. So if you don't have a pointed pen or a brush pen, um, you can use any marker or regular pen um, to do this. It's also great if you have a surface that doesn't allow you to use traditional calligraphy supplies on but you need it to look like calligraphy such as a chalkboard. So I'm going to use, um, first I'll show you calligraphy using this Pentel Touch Sign Pen. And I'm going to write a word and I want you to pay attention to the movement of my pen and how the thickness of the line changes. So every time that I'm going upwards, the line is thin, and when I come back down, it gets thick. So as I come down for this eye, it's a thick stroke, and then it transitions to a thin stroke. And that's really what makes calligraphy look like calligraphy, is the variation between the thicks and the thins. So that's going to be important um, when we do faux calligraphy, is thickening up your line. But the first step is to actually write your word using, I'm using this pen, you can use any sort of pen, chalk, or marker. So you can write it in your normal cursive, or to make it look a little bit more like calligraphy, I recommend lifting your pen between each stroke. And leaving a little bit more space between your letters than you normally would, just because you're going to be thickening them and you don't want it to look too cramped. Okay, so then the next step is going to be thickening your line by adding a parallel line um, next to the strokes that you have already written that are downstrokes. So to figure out which ones are downstrokes, you can kind of go over your word in the air with your pen. And okay, so here I know it needs to be a downstroke, so I know it's going to be thick. So just draw a line parallel to your stroke, and you want it to be a consistent width um, with all the other thicknesses that you add. So for this H, I'm actually going to thicken it on either side of the stroke, just because if I did it on one side or the other, it would be a little bit cramped. And then for this I, what I like to do with curves is I'll pick the inside of the curve to thicken, so as this comes down and curves up, I'm going to thicken it on the inside of the curve and just make sure that my width of here is pretty consistent with the width of all my other letters. So then the last step is just to go and fill in all of those um, blank spaces. So you can either do this as you go or um, you can write all your words out and then add your thick lines and then go shade them in, whichever is easier for you. Um, so now you have a pretty convincing looking uh, piece of calligraphy that you did with not a calligraphy pen. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you learned anything from it, let us know, or if you try it out, we'd be happy to see your work. So just tag us on Instagram or Facebook at Lovely Loops. Hope you have a wonderful day.